coming today, Fiona. Pleasure, Mel. It's really lovely to be here with you. So tell me about your proposition with Partica. What's the service and why does it apply to real estate agents? Well, what the service is, it's essentially a marketplace of content or articles, pre-written articles, that real estate agents are able to tap into and be able to, I guess, effectively save a lot of time, save a lot of effort and a lot of heartache in being able to provide quality content for their audience, whether they want to reach their audience through print medium like a, a newsletter, a printed newsletter within their local market, whether they wanted to have um, content on their blog, which is so important to be able to have content um, that is on a website that is not just about what listings are for sale at the moment, what listings have been sold recently in the marketplace. And, and then it's also about how do they then share that information through their social media channels as well. So is the content for sales agents or do you have content for other people? Now the content itself is not just about real estate because if you think about how people are searching for property at the moment, they're not always in that pointy end of the cycle where they're ready to buy or they're ready to sell their home. They might be looking for information or inspiration on being able to renovate their home or potentially look for some content on where to go for a holiday because they've just spent a ridiculous amount of time searching for property as well so it can take a lot of, a lot of time and effort out of it. And so the, the idea around the content is that it is able to I guess provide agents with another way of engaging with people at their, across their property cycle. So that's a real challenge, isn't it? Keeping your brand present when people aren't in the market transacting. Because you and I both worked at one of the portals and that was the constant challenge was that people would forget about the portal brand, be it mm. REA or um, Domain or one of the others when they weren't in the market and then they come back to the market and go oh yeah what's the red one and what was the green one mm. so this is the same concept but for agencies and agents or property managers correct that's right that's right because you know when you think about because the old adage that you know we, we've both been in you know digital real estate advertising or digital advertising and marketing over the last 20 years. But one of the really important things that we've learned over the years is that you know content is king. Mm -hmm. And now we're starting to be in a marketplace where video is queen. So you've got content is king, video is queen, but how do you actually make sure that both of those are working together to reach everybody? Because you're right, um, when you're ready to actually buy or sell a house, People know where to go to have a look for it. They'll generally go to one of the larger portals, they'll look for a property there, and this is where agents can really, I guess using content is their way of being able to capitalise and, and capture those people that, that are at the start of their cycle, if they're just looking for, for information. And that's why you have you know, the, the content from those larger portals. It's being shared across a lot of different agents are out there, they're sharing that information through their website blogs, through their newsletters. So it's absolutely fine to send people to those platforms, but do remember that you pay on based on the number of people that go to those platforms. So if you're going to send people anywhere, you want to send it to your own website, right? Exactly. And that's the key thing. It's, I mean, it doesn't, if, if those articles are being shared, the perception is that you're not paying for it, but you really are, because at the end of the day, when you are sending people to an, a larger portal site, you're sending people to your competitors. Mm -hmm. Why would an agent want to advertise their listings where all of the other listings are as well, all of their competitors' listings are? And it was like, well, why wouldn't you? That's where people are going. That's how people it's are actually searching. It's the marketplace. Searching. That's the marketplace. Mm. So when you, you jump forward, you know, another, you know, 10, 15 years, and agents who are not providing educational and informative information to be that property expert, to be that suburb expert. So we've actually gone full circle because the agency website used to be the dominant place for the agent or agents. Um, and then the portals came along, you know, surpassed the print media. Um, everybody goes there. So we're kind of like bringing people back to your own brand, keeping them within the realms of, you know, um, your site. Your own ecosystem. Yeah, and yeah. we're bringing them out of Google, we're bringing them out of social media platforms. So we're basically spreading the, um, the places where people are going to start and, and land on your site. So we're not so beholden to the portals anymore. Real estate is a relationship. 
It's a relationship industry and they're all, everyone's wanting to have that relationship and content is a really easy, simple way and it's really cost effective to do that as well. Mm. And you know, the biggest challenges that real estate agents often find with content, as you know, is making it consistent, making it professional and making sure that that information is relevant to the audience as well. Yeah. And it's um, really about that, like you say, the long-term play. So it could be two, three years that you are trying to stay visible to people in your local community. It's been wonderful having you, Fiona. Thanks for talking to me. Thanks, Mel. It's been great being here with you today. Really appreciate it.